Hey guys, so there you have it. Uh, we've got both colors there completed. And it's time to move into the rust. But first I just kind of want to show you the colors here and where we're at so far. Because what we're about to do is really going to shape the way that this model um, is going to turn out. This is what's really going to divide it from where it is now to where the other engine is and like I said I'm racing against the clock here it's just 6.59 we've got a couple seconds so it turns 7 o'clock in the morning so trying to get this all straightened out to show you and prove my point <laughs> through the night that uh, you can make a train yourself out of what you got colors look right and uh, get it more exact than what they'll give you out there so anyway there's a red well what are we gonna do with the red well it's time to make the rust so time to get snapping I suppose I've got a yellow or I got the red down I've got a blue red yellow and blue you can make any color that you want you know the color wheel and I'm trying to think if I need another color. I don't think so, but I'm going to go ahead and start mixing them up. Okay, guys, so take note of this little uh, trick right here. I've taken the time to really mix this up and fan this out. That way, um, I'll show you why. Because uh, you got to dab it onto the engine. What you want to do is just kind of dab it with one of these little broom-looking brushes, I think, helps the most. Pick it up like that, okay? that out of sight and put the engine back in sight. I'm going to start in an area underneath first to see how it comes out. And I didn't get much there. Damn it. Okay. I'm just going to dab that on there like that. I'm even going to, when it gets light, just kind of bring it down like that. Okay, and then with the trucks too. I always start underneath because that's where you're going to get most of the rust first. And just dab the trucks. And getting uh, the inner parts and everything is really neat too. There's the trucks and then there's this. And it's turned out a little bit more reddish in that area. So I've, I don't know, I've got a couple different colors to choose from from where the reds and the yellows were. That's neon. I'm going to have to alternate that then. Like I said before, just kind of dabbing the, the trucks up here. I'm going to go into that reddish area a little bit. Grab some of that reddish kind of rust, too. That's a nice surprise. I like surprises like that. That really helps. I'm just going to dab a little bit. Looking rusty, looking good. And then in here, I always want to get in here, too. I'm going to mix it all up this time. Get in there. See? There's that. A little bit under here, too. And the steps. I always want to try and get the steps. Flip it over. Start from the top again, repeating the same process. Now this time it's kind of branching up and down. That's cool. I like that. Down, let me move this light. Let's see it a little better. For some of that nice red. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go. Get underneath there. Underneath there. and I mix together just the right amount to get through this here but I'm starting to think that I didn't once I get the trucks done then I can show you some more stuff so there's two colors to the rust that's cool that's what I'm looking for I didn't expect I get it all at once that kind of helps it also makes the video a little less shorter or longer I mean, or whatever you know what I mean 7.05 here in the morning 
hope you guys appreciate the fact that I chose to spend my Saturday night doing this to show you guys this and being out drinking where others might. It's the best time for me to do it and prove my point and be unobstructed from everyone else walking around now. Back. Whoops. Same thing. Make sure I get my paint here. Just light down so you can see along with me. And, uh, get that all screwed up. That's that coupler. Oh, yeah. Whoops. Showing the floor here and the stool. Is that what I'm doing? Get that all nice and messed up. Yeah, good enough for now. I'm running out of this color here, it seems. Oh, time to get the front. And I'll mix up a little bit more. I guess I can show you the formula for that, too. Please, a little bit more. Just a little bit. I don't want to go grab water and spill it down on this and end up with mud. That's how you make mud anyways. You do the same thing and just add water. I don't lost that battle. Okay, so basically I've got my blue, yellow, and my red. And what I'm going to do... So I'm going to start mixing it all together. I'm going to use the yellow one just because it gives that little extra edge there. Start mixing that around. You can already see the color there of that. Mixing nice. I'm going to go up to the red and make my second color here. I'm going to just kind of start mixing it like that. And I've got a couple different variations here of, of the colors of the rust I'm going to put on there. And squeeze this out, and it looks like I've got a bonus dark one. Yay! Sweetness. Okay, back to the job at hand. Back to the right camera angle. There we go. And I'm gonna dance this around in there. Oh god, that's thick. Oh well. Get the black out. I'll start doing that with the black. around so we have a different color dancing that on there a little bit just a little tiny hints little tiny hints oh god I'm sorry <laughs> looking at the side of my computer the whole time little tiny hints just kind of drag it now oh, I gotta bend this on the body. Here's the dramatic part. What we're going to do I'm just going to go under all these little edges here and just drag it, drag it, drag it, drag it. Drag it, drag it, drag it, drag it, drag it, drag it. Up here a little bit on these vents. We're going to dirty that up a little bit around the stack. Drag it a little bit, just a little bit. Just little bit. It's going to age it big time. Around the top it's going to stick when you drag it. It's those little parts there. Anywhere there's a nut or ball or anything sticking up it's going to rust it a little bit. And that's the detail that we're looking for especially in this engine because let's face it this type of engine there isn't much there. Okay extra drag it drag it drag it dab dab underneath like that and just kind of bring it down underneath bring it down that didn't go too well underneath bring it down just, just kind of drag it across kind of be free range with it like one of those free range eggs run around with it you know just kind of get in there and just kind of 
use your fingers if you want to smooth it around a little bit on that red even yeah. drag it around back on the catwalk here a little bit that's really going to have a lot of wear and tear on it anyway I'll show you how to get the catwalks straight out in just a minute here you're gonna go out that with a little bit of a darker with your one dark blue. You're gonna drag it too. And as you can see, I got what's starting to look like a kind of rusty engine here. Rusty old engine. Rusty old trucks. Ah, you're there without rest. Okay. Oh, sh okay. Uh oh. That's the fun of it, I guess. See, so, yeah, uh oh, and steering it around. Decals going anyway. Uh, steps, steps. And the underside. I'm just gonna use a brush for this. Where did I put my? There's my brush. There's a rust on there, on the trucks, on the bottom, everywhere it's gotta be. Next is the black, and the sun's coming up.